I'm here with artist Micah Gogan and his amazing art journal. So we are gonna make a whole bunch of different components of this page today. Yeah, actually we're gonna be focusing on art journal vignettes. So it's a great way to layer and combine media um, to make your art journal more personal. You ready? Ooh, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start with, um, I'm gonna start with a black opaque uh, film and I'm gonna use alcohol inks on them. So I'm doing the black because I'm gonna be focusing on metallics. So I have a can of um, air uh, that I'm gonna be using to manipulate the inks around and I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start with some of the metallic green here and I'm just gonna very lightly uh, put the air on it so that I can blow the ink around. And the reason you're using a film instead of paper is because you're using alcohol inks, right? And they have to go on a non-porous surface. Correct. So we want um, the, the more slick the surface is, the better the alcohol inks perform. And you can um, use the canned air to kind of manipulate the surface and create different patterning and texture when you're working around the image. I have to say, I've seen a version of this using a straw, and this is way easier than having to blow through a straw. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> And when you're uh, putting the different inks down, you wanna get some combined um, textures so that you can put the color shift and these shimmers that are on here. I was gonna say, you have a trick though for opening up the nozzles when they get stuck like that. I've seen you have a pin. Mm -hmm. Which is a super easy way to open it up. And I also can hear that there's a ball in there and that's really helping to mix it up, right? There is, there's a BB in that actually creates the color shift and helps to loosen up some of those so that when you have it, um, uh, activating on the surface, then you can put more of the shimmer and the translucent effects on there. Super cool. And when you finish blowing it around, I believe that it uh, dries a little more uh, vibrant than what we're seeing there because you have a finish sample here, right? Mm -hmm. That shows just how vibrant that is. Yeah, there's a translucence. You can see the color shift that's happening with the um, metallics and how they're reflecting in the light. And just picking up the atmosphere, it really looks like space. I mean, right? I would hang that on my wall. It kind of <laughs> looks like abstract art already. Correct. Now the um, neon inks are gonna be uh, created on a matte film surface and so I'm just gonna take a couple of those, same technique, and I'm just gonna explode some. You know, you're very generous. I always get nervous about like I'm using too much or something. No, uh, I just wanna keep it playful so that I can move the inks around and uh, because I've got it on this matted surface then I don't have to worry about concealing and I want areas that are more thick and areas that are more transparent. So I'm just gonna be layering up some other colors and just have fun, just play with the, the color scheme that's going on. We've got a nice warm color scheme happening and we can just use the air to move them around. You see that when the uh, alcohol inks pull up and get more activated, then there's these um, more opaque solid color surfaces that happen. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of the orange on, move that around, see how it's really creating a little bit more pattern work whenever yeah, the air hits it. it feels like it. sunshine. And then you get, again, this spatial theme that really has a lot of energy and a lot of translucent uh, activity happening. And um, this is a matte film, so it has a little bit of see-through, but it still lets it be a little bit um, more opaque. And so once we have those situated, then we're gonna do some um, cutouts of them. So if we wanted a planetary theme, for example, we have a little uh, instant cutout theme here. We can just slide this in and depress it down. I like that where there is a circle punch, you see a planet, and that's the power of imagination. Right, and then that's what we had used in our example, and there's also little star punches so that you can get more bang for your uh, product here, and you can just kind of use the scraps and just do some simple cutaways that are very easy. And even the ones that are off center work out great for the bottom of the page, as you can see. So you can just kind of alternate some of those and see a planetary theme going on. In case of the uh, vintage vignette, then we could actually use um, scissors to cut out instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just apply this original silhouette on top and I'm just gonna use a fine line marker and you can just trace on top of the alcohol ink and go all the way I around. I say you're a brave man tracing on the front. Right, and then you can just cut out with X-Acto knife which is what I did here on the side and that way you've got a nice vignette that you can add to your art journal as well. Now how do you actually prep the pages? Um, so if you're wanting to add a quick bit of texture, one easy way to do it is just to take your art journal and uh, we're just gonna use some stencils that were created here to um, give it a little bit of texture. 
So I've got a variety of I like that you here. don't clean your stencils. I, I think don't. that's a fine policy. Why waste your art time cleaning? Correct. And just let them be playful here. And I'm going to take um, some art sprays and I'm just going to shake them up. There's a BB inside which will make sure that the color is activated. And I'm just going to give them a light pump. And it's really easy, fun way to just kind of mist across. It's great to take multiple colors and blend them together. And then you can uh, remove. Mixing teal and orange, you are a brave man. I would never, I would be scared to mix those and afraid I was going to get brown. No. We're going to keep it nice and soft. I like that it gives a balance of muted colors and bold colors. Beautiful. And then you can actually flip these over on a fresh page and get more design. And then once your embellishments are created, then you can just take the vignettes and, and place them throughout the imagery and um, add additional uh, handwriting and other techniques to be able so to So let's create. look at some examples here because when you're talking about vignettes, I'd love to have you explain a little bit more what you mean mm -hmm. by that. So we took our uh, cutouts for the metallics on the black and we created a space theme and of course I'm a Leo so I had to just dot that in and then just do a little writing so the art journal is as personal as you are and then we have some additional um, where we used the flowers and so I have this fish theme where again it was the metallics on the mat where we were able to put the the fish in there and have him kind of swimming around freely um, so then that way you are free to add more color and texture to all of your pages so that you get something different each time and so you know using some of these picture frames to be able to have more uh, embellishments and texture in your art journals that's great and sometimes you know you have the colors and you have the shapes before you can find the words for it so it's a wonderful way to get out your stress your ideas, your thoughts, and all that stuff. Thank you so much, Micah. Thank you.